Okay, getting ready to saddle up Coco now. Um, this, uh, what I'm going to be demonstrating now is typical of um, how we saddle up every time. Um, have been doing this for months and um, just have to go slow and do what works for him. So I always give oats, um, sometimes all in one or grain or hay bag, whatever. Um, just kind of keep his mind busy. Oh boy, you want oats. We walk around within a circle. It's pretty much just the same way you would start a young horse. Um, don't know what happened to him. I just suspect that somebody, some rough cowboy type, got a hold of him and scared him. That's what I think. And. I think that if you go too fast and too tight on him, that it um, he has flashbacks. I had one trainer tell me, no, horses don't have flashbacks, but um, I think they do. So anyway, um, if you take the time and understand him and do it like I just demonstrated, you shouldn't have any problems with this horse. And once it's done, it's done. I mean, he has no problems at all tightening the cinch on the trail. 
when we get to the trailhead I'll show you again um, during the ride taking off the saddle you know how you have to pull it up to undo it to get that stud out nothing it's always just a very initial first cinching is where that triggers whatever is in his brain for from years ago I usually cinch it up one more hole for the trailer ride, and then I'll cinch it up one more time after I get to the trailhead. I don't like it too tight, but it's got to be safe, too. Lots of love and patience and affirmation. There's lots of hills where I'm going, pretty steep up and down, so I always ride with a breast collar, and um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and um, I gotta go up to the house and get my purse, and then I'll come back down and um, throw him in the trailer. I'll videotape that too. So, back at ya.